Previously, we talked about the first three of seven fundamentals of reconnaissance. So a quick recap. We have to ensure continuous reconnaissance, don't keep recon assets in the reserve, and orient efforts on the reconnaissance objective. Also remember the mission of reconnaissance is to obtain information about the activities and resources of an enemy or adversary, or to secure data concerning characteristics of a particular area. So let's continue. The fourth fundamental is report information rapidly and accurately. Previously, we've spoken about running estimates and why we have to stay on top of those. The situation changes and information may quickly lose its value. Reconnaissance units report exactly what they see and if appropriate, what they don't see. And the information on the ground may not seem that important, but if you combine that with information from other surveillance methods, the boss may be better suited to make some decisions. The fifth fundamental is we want to have our reconnaissance assets retaining their freedom of maneuver. If they're decisively engaged, recon stops. For this fundamental, those assets have to have clear engagement criteria that supports the commander's intent. So initiative and knowledge of both the terrain and the enemy reduce the likelihood of a decisive engagement and help maintain that freedom of movement. You should have a good idea of anticipated areas of likely contact from the IPB process. And finally, indirect fires that provide suppression and obscuration help reconnaissance assets retain that freedom. The sixth fundamental is to gain and maintain contact with the enemy. Once a unit conducting reconnaissance gains contact with the enemy, it maintains that contact unless the commander orders otherwise or the survival of the unit is at risk. This doesn't mean that the individual scout or recon team doesn't break contact with the enemy. The commander of the unit conducting reconnaissance is responsible for maintaining that contact. So that contact can range from surveillance to close combat. Surveillance combined with stealth is often sufficient to maintain contact and is the preferred method. Finally, the seventh fundamental is to develop the situation rapidly. Once the recon asset encounters an enemy force or obstacle, it has to determine the threat it faces. For the enemy, we have to know the composition, activities, and more so we can assess the implications. And for obstacles, what's the type and extent or whether it can be covered by fire. Okay, so there are the seven reconnaissance fundamentals. Remember to open up FM 3-90.2, reconnaissance security and tactical enabling tasks. For more information on this, you can download your doctrine from armypubs.army.mil.